Today, we're grilling up some apple cider pork belly at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, we have a slab of pork belly, right? You know all about that. Of course, it's got the skin on because it's all about the crispy skin. Now, you're going to need some veggies like celery, onion, carrot. You need some garlic. Here we've got some salt. We've got some cooking oil. And we've got the hard apple cider. And, of course, you're going to need your favorite seasoning or rum. All right, let's show you how this is done. Now, the first thing you got to do is take a sharp knife or a razor knife, and you want to score the skin. We're doing this because we want to get it real crispy, and this is a necessary part of getting this skin nice and crispy, right? All right? See that? You're going pretty much through the entire skin, not quite into the uh, meat itself. Now, once you do that, spread on some good cooking oil. Again, this will help you get it crispy, as this salt would. Plenty of salt. Get it in there. This helps dry out that uh, pork belly skin and allows it to get crispy. And rub it hard, just the way she likes it. Now, here's the magic. Get your favorite hard apple cider, right? Get yourself a dentist syringe or a needle, right? And inject it into the meat of the pork belly, just like that. And do it several times, or until you can't take the pain any longer. <laughs> Now, by doing this, you're going to add plenty of moisture into the meat. So when you do the uh, cook, it stays nice and moist. Makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Yo. Whew. And when you can't take any more pain, just do it again. All right. Injected. Now, grab your favorite rub. Here we're using our uh, original barbecue rub. Use your favorite, like I said, and rub it in deep. Again, just the way she likes. Whoa. This will add plenty of flavor. Mm. Now, if you've never had hard apple cider pork belly before, you definitely got to check it out. Now, we'll add a little bit more cooking oil to it. All right. Yeah. Got it. All right, here's the veggie part. And if, you, uh, if this bothers you, just look the other way. But we're going to cut up an onion. And here we'll smash down a bulb of garlic. There's never enough garlic. You know how to do this, right? <laughs> And uh, remember, your mama always tell you, eat your carrots, it's good for your eyesight. Well, whatever. Now, we've got a medley of uh, veggies in there, and we're going to add some more of our hard apple cider. We'll bathe it. And, of course, uh, save a couple for the pit master. <laughs> Makes it all worthwhile, and I'll do it. All right. Now, what we're doing again is um, trying to keep the moisture up, right? So we got a nice beer bath in there, or a hard apple cider beer bath, which I had plenty of moisture during the cook. We'll place it on the grill, and the grill is at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit initially, maybe for the first half hour. Then let the grill temperature drop to about 300, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take a few hours until it looks just like that. You want it where the skin is crispy, you can hear it, right? And it's got a nice bronze look. And it has an internal temperature of about uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less, all right? Now take a look at that. Moist, tender, crispy on the outside. Oh, can you smell that? It smells good. And here, the pit master is apologizing for eating in front of you like this, or no, he's not. 
So if you want the exact recipe, head on over to our website. Give us a shout out, thumbs up, follow us. We appreciate your support. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. <laughs>